Hi Capricorn, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Dee and I hope you're doing well. This is a general reading which comes to you from the Angel Wisdom Tarot and the Moonology Oracle cards, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. At the end of this message, if you haven't already done so, subscribe, like, comment, share, turn on your post notification, check out the community tab as well as the shorts. And if you are a private person, I respect and honor your privacy. You don't have to leave a comment in the comment section. You can just simply leave me a heart emoji or a bunch of heart emojis to let me know that the message did touch your heart in some way. And finally, if you stay to the end, leave me a smiley face emoji. God Most High, what is the divine guidance? Thank you, God Most High. For a Capricorn, that's for your well-being in the highest form of love and light. Thank you, God Most High. Oh, that's beautiful, Capricorn. Thank you. Any other messages for a Capricorn for their well-being in the highest form of love and light? Thank you, God Most High. Capricorn, you have the Ten of Cups, which speaks to a happy family environment. So I feel like perhaps you and your family unit have been going through some difficulties and you've been able to really sit down at the table and have open discussions and everyone's point of view and perspective perspective has been heard and because of that you've been able to work out the situation and actually come to a resolve that is beneficial for everyone which of course has strengthened your family unit so this is a beautiful card to see and I just say congratulations to you working out the issues within your family unit bringing in that unity that was needed and also I feel like because you all have had open discussion and really been authentic with one another that it has caused your connection with each other to now elevate so I feel like Everyone involved learned something that they didn't know about one another, and it has strengthened the unity, the bond of your family unit. So that's absolutely wonderful. And 10 is the number of endings with new beginnings. So that cycle has come to an end, and you all are off to a beautiful, fresh new beginning. And if you have not come to that point yet in your family unit where you are still facing some difficulties you can rest assured that everything is going to work out for everyone involved and your bond is going to be enhanced you have renewal so with the ten of cups i feel like this is a time of renewal and again it's pointing to a family unit so I feel like working your situation out, having an open discussion, being honest with one another, um, clearing up any misunderstandings, of course, helps you to renew your bond, your connection with one another, which is elevating your relationship and elevating your family unit. So I feel like the renewal card just supports the Ten of Cups. And for those of you who are still working through some issues, I reiterate that everything is going to work out well for everyone and you all will be um, more connected than before, as I mentioned. So that's what I'm really getting for you all, okay? You've put your heart out on the table, you've been vulnerable, and or you're being vulnerable and it's going to pay off it's going to pay off for everyone the bond is getting stronger by having these discussions and being open and transparent with one another you also have adjustments are required so in your current situation consider 
everyone's perspective and make modifications to what you all feel is necessary to have a successful outcome and put it into action. So make the appropriate modifications and adjustments as needed, considering everyone. And your final card is, it's time to release negativity. So it's time to let go of any negative energy that's been impacting your family unit and or I would add a friendship. If it's been impacting you in any way, it's time to release that neg negativity and let it go. I don't mean that every situation can be easily worked through when it comes to negative um, actions that have been taken where you've experienced hurt and disappointment and pain and suffering, but work towards it. And as you work towards forgiving and releasing the, the negativity, you're going to feel better because of course, holding on to it and just repeating it in your mind, in your thoughts is just going to impact your life. So a lot of times when things happen in family units or friendship, even if it's in a work environment, when we hold on to what has been done to us, the other person has really moved on and not thinking twice about it. But because the experience may have impacted us more severely than they realize or care, then we may tend to hold on to the thought of what happened, rehearsing it, and also holding on to negative emotions that we may feel against them. So I feel like being honest about your point of view with yourself and working through your emotions is going to help you to move towards healing, releasing, and letting go of the negativity. And if you find that a friendship is unable to be reconciled, then it's okay to move on because that connection, that relationship, as it relates to a friend or a colleague has now come to an end and you can expect that at some point there will be someone else who will come across your path who is like-minded, who will connect with you and establish a firm and solid connection with you. Okay, so keep that in mind as anyone, again, dealing with the family issue, that's being worked out. That's going to be worked out in a positive way. Okay. I'm going to take this card that's standing, that's standing, <laughs> that's staring right in my face. And that's going to conclude your message. It says, don't let pride get in your way. And I know that forgiving others and moving on can be challenging and sometimes it can be difficult to just release them and let them go or it can be difficult to apologize if you're on the other end of the situation and need to apologize and extend the olive branch to someone. It can be challenging to do so but it will be most beneficial for yourself and others if you can bring yourself to the point of saying to whomever that you do apologize for whatever you've said or done that has been detrimental to them. So don't let your pride get in your way. Don't let it stand in the way of you apologizing and or and accepting an apology. And if you find that someone comes to apologize to you and you're really just not ready to accept the apology, you can be honest and speak on that. You can be honest with them that you appreciate them coming to you and being open to apologize, but you're not at the place of full forgiveness.
you're working on it, but you're not at the place of full forgiveness. You know what I mean? And again, if you are on the opposite side of that and you need to apologize to someone, don't let your pride get in the way of you apologizing. Just humble yourself and just go apologize. I know I say just. I'm using that term very loosely, but humble yourself and apologize. I've had to do it. I can remember having to apologize to someone being challenging, being difficult, and I just had to quote unquote swallow my pride and go and apologize. And that was when I was like in my 20s, early 30s. But I have, of course, exceeded that, both the age and <laughs> that level of maturity. I have far advanced. <laughs> hint, hint. So, uh, hint, hint about my age, that is. So, I'm saying all that to say with life experiences. And age really doesn't have anything to do with life experiences. You can be quite mature at any age, it depends on your level of maturity. But in my experience, I'm talking about me. In my experience, in my 20s and early 30s, it was challenging to be able to offer an apology to someone that I had hurt their feelings unknowingly or if I had done something unknowingly once they brought it to my attention to apologize for it. So, yeah. I had to swallow my pride and go and do it. And I did it. And once I did it, I felt better. And not only that, it was helping me to um, be very mindful of when things like that happen to just freely, if I know that it has offended someone and the offense was not intentional, to just apologize for it because sometimes we can offend people and we don't even know that we offend them you know what I mean like I remember one time just joking and me and some co-workers we were all just laughing and joking and afterwards one of the co-workers she didn't tell me she told someone else that she was offended and I was like well if she was offended why didn't she just come tell me quick story time right so she didn't come and tell me so I just went to her and told her that it was brought to my attention that she was offended. I didn't know what I said to offend her. If she could just tell me what I had said that she found offensive because we were all joking around to let me know. And then I will not joke with her in that manner again. And um, she told me what I said that was joking was offensive to her. And I was like, okay, so I know I can't joke with you like that any longer, but my apologies for offending you. I wasn't aware that that was offensive. Like, I didn't say anything disrespectful. Like, trust me. Um, yeah, trust me, it wasn't. But for her, she felt whatever I said was offensive. My child was so long ago, I can't even remember. Because again, I'm telling you, it was my late, I mean, in my 20s, early 30s. So yeah, Psh. Anywho, <laughs> I hope you get my point. So now, you know, at the place I am in my life, if I offend someone, I don't struggle with uh, apologizing. If it's offensive and I didn't realize that it was offensive, then yes, I will certainly apologize for it and move on. So thank you for staying and listen to my quick little story time. I hope it has been helpful to you and I hope this message has been helpful to you. And I would simply add that in order to not allow your pride to stand in your way, to be courageous, bold, and move forward confidently in being able to express yourself with an apology if it's warranted to whomever it is. It could be a child. It could be a child. Sometimes adults have a difficult time apologizing to children. No, 
No excuse. No excuse for that. Mm -mm. No excuse. They should be honored just like everyone else. If you offended them, if you did something wrong to them, if you lost your patience with them, if you lost your cool, your temper, humble yourself and go apologize. Don't don't be like, um, I know that's not a proper grammar, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, don't be like, oh, do you want to go get some ice cream? Oh, do you want to go to the mall? Oh, do you want to go get something to eat? Absolutely not. No. I don't, I don't care if that's your love language. <laughs> I don't care if all of those things are their love language. Gift, money, I don't care if none of that, if any of that, pardon me, is their love language. Apologize. Humble yourself and apologize to them. And don't just say, I apologize. Explain why you're apologizing. Oh, that's the Virgo in me right now. What? Come on with the details. Don't play with me. Cap, I think you like the details too. So be very specific about what it is and apologize. They deserve it because I'm telling you, as God is my witness and the host of angels, ancestors, beings of love and light are present, that will stay with them. That will stay with them if you apologize to them. They will never forget that. And that will speak volumes to them about the type of individual you are. That will carry a lot of weight. And that will prevent any trauma that could possibly settle in their hearts from even taking root because once it take roots, you already know. Half of us still dealing with childhood trauma. I'm just saying. I know I am. And I know I'm not by myself. But as the saying goes, quote unquote, you can't do better until you know better. So we know better. So, even to a child, apologize humbly. And then you could take them and get them whatever they want. <laughs> they can go to the mall, go get something to eat, go buy them that whatever. Give them that, that money, that sh money. You can do all that afterwards. But humble yourself and apologize. Be bold, courageous, and authentic. And that empowers you. It truly does. All right, Capricorn, I'm not going to prolong this message. I think you get the point. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Take good care of yourself. Remember to do all those things I asked you to do in the beginning of the message. I won't repeat it. Take good care of yourself. I will talk to you soon. Peace and blessings to you. Bye for now.